So next one says, uh, where is it? An inventor claims to have devised a cyclical engine for use in space vehicles that operates with a nuclear fuel generated energy source whose temperature is 510 Kelvin in a sink at 270 Kelvin. Now, this sink radiates waste heat to deep space. Well, he also claims that the engine produces 4.1 kilowatts while rejecting heat at a rate of 15,000 kilojoules per hour. Is this claim valid? Well, what do we need to do on this case here? Well, we're just going to relate the second law and see if this is possible or not, right? Um, note that our useful energy in this case is 4.1 kilowatts, and our rejected energy is this one here, rate of energy, I should say. Okay, so let's have a look. What is the maximum possible efficiency that I can have for this, this person's engine, right? This person's engine, the maximum efficiency you can have is going to be um, constrained by its source and its sink, right? That's what the second law tells us. Its source and its sink, okay? And in this case, the source has a uh, temperature of uh, 510 and the sink has a temperature of 270. That's horrible on my part. Just get that out of the way. Yeah. 270. They're both in Kelvin, so the Kelvin goes away. And we're left only with the ratio, which is our efficiency. And this turns out to be 47.06%. Okay. So what is this guy? This is the maximum. Um, thermal efficiency that this invention that this guy made can have according to his boundaries. Okay, but what is he claiming? Well, he's claiming that it rejects heat, heat rejected from his system is 15 times 10 to the third, and that's kilojoules per hour. So I'm going to go ahead and convert that. It's going to divide by 36. So one hour has 3,600 seconds. So this is equivalent of 4.167 kilojoules per second or kilowatts. Okay, so let's see what's the efficiency that this thing would have. So let's call it um, actual, according to his claims. Well, that's going to be the output over the available energy or the inputs, right? Uh, available energy, AE. So the useful energy got out of it is the work, and it's given as, what was it? 4.1 kilowatts, okay? So this guy gives out 4.1 kilowatts while having available energy of 4.1, which is exactly the same one, plus whatever was rejected, right? Whatever we could not absorb and use as useful energy. So same units, we can sum them up, kilowatts go away, and then this renders approximately 49.6. So what is our conclusion? Is his claim valid, yes or no? Yes, no. is, is his claim, what's that, go, go, go for it. I was just saying no. Yeah, no, how come? Because the actual efficiency he's claiming is higher than the absolute maximum dictated by the laws. That's right. That's right. That's perfectly right. So how would we write this if we're doing an assignment exam or if you're actually doing a report for someone or you're wanting to buy this thing? Would you buy it? No, you wouldn't, right? So the, we would say the inventor's claim is not valid because it violates the second law of thermodynamics. The claim states a 49.6% thermal efficiency when the maximum achievable under the given conditions is 47.06. Right? So that's our, the question, is the claim valid? So it is not valid because the claimed, she put it, she put a claim here, 
claimed efficiency is greater than the maximum efficiency. Right? This is the maximum one here. Okay, therefore, it violates the second law and it's BS. Okay, this guy's trying to sell you something that does not exist. Okay, guys, any question on this problem here?